Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I just wanted to come on and talk about Eco Styler. So I know that you hardly ever see me use Eco, well, no, you've never seen me use Eco Styler because I hardly ever use Eco Styler. I don't use Eco Styler often for two reasons. One is that it has glycerin and for me glycerin stylers are only okay like in the spring and the fall with the moderate temperatures so that kind of narrows the window of when I can use it. Two, it doesn't really have the best ingredients. I mean the ingredients aren't horrible but they're not really nourishing for the hair. I like to nourish my hair. I'm kind of more about healthy hair than the look. And then the third reason, possibly the most important reason, the crunch. I'm not a crunch cruncher. To me, like, you know, if your hair feels like bricks and then you crunch it and it feels like rubber or something. But I like my hair to feel soft and touchable like there's nothing on it. And the fourth reason is that my hair is just really flat with Eco Styler. Like, my curl is kind of like an S-shaped curl. So if you weigh it down, it's just like a noodle. Like, it's just kind of almost straight and like really flat. I like my hair to have a little more life and stuff. So usually I film like on a day three, um, but for the Eco style, I kind of had to wait an extra day and it's still on the flatter side to how it usually is. But every now and again, usually like maybe two to four times a year, I guess, four might be generous, like two or three times a year. I just want to mix up my look. I was kind of getting that spring fever and I decided to do an Eco style wash and I'm going to show you guys. So I'm going to show you the tips and tricks that I have, how to apply it, how to reduce the crunch a little bit, how to get it to dry a little faster reducing any dryness, stuff like that. My Eco Styler Gel wash and go using techniques. My Eco Styler Gel using wash and go techniques. Something like that. <laughs> Firstly, moisture. Definitely want to start with a good leave-in. I definitely do LCO under Eco Styler just to combat the dryness or prevent the dryness. For my leave-in, I use the Sultanical Slip and Slide Not Proof Hair Glide, which is a great leave-in because it's not super duper heavy. I don't get flakes but I don't want to push my luck so I want something that's not too heavy but still very moisturizing so that's a, this is a great leave-in for that and and what also makes a big difference for me for using Eco Styler is using this Camille Rose whipped butter gel or I would say any Camille Rose butter because the Camille Rose products are very softening and they help to reduce the crunch from a, like a stiff gel so moisturizing leave-in Camille Rose butter <laughs> Or softening, moisturizing softening butter if there's any other one that you like. So, you know, that comes next because I do have seal. And then finally I will use my oil mix. And usually I just put my oil on my ends. And I think I did pretty much just put my oil on my ends. But to help to reduce crunch and reduce the chance of flakes, I want to put oil everywhere. So basically you just kind of have to really suit up. <laughs> when you're using the silo gel, at least I do because I'm not used to using it. So you got your LCO on, you're ready to do the Eco Styler. And my tips for that, some people that live in water, which is actually a really good idea, but I'm just kind of lazy to do that. So I just kind of apply it regularly, but very carefully, like I just smooth. And then it's like I'm detangling, I just rake through the top and then go further down. I'm not even trying to go all the way through my hair because it's so thick that it might cause tangles to do that and the slip of course isn't going to be curl maker slip or kinky curly slip so between the two of those I rake very carefully when I'm raking and I kind of start at the top and kind of push in more and more almost like if my fingers were like a detangling brush instead of the usual comb I guess <laughs> after I put on my gel and everything the next thing to do is pluck my hair to kind of get off some of the extra gel and help prevent the cast from being too hard so I wrap my hair in a t-shirt like this you know and plop. <laughs> That's kind of, I guess you could say my final tip. So after that, it kind of is what it is in terms of re crunch result. But I think if you do all of these, you'll have a lot less crunch with your Eco Styler. So I talked about it, let me show you now. Take a look at my demo of how I do my Eco Styler gel. <laughs> this is my hair before anything. And now I'm going to add my products. I'm starting off with my Sultanicals nut, Slip and Slide Nut Proof Hair Glide Leave-In, which I love. Uh, along with many other leave-ins, but I love it. <laughs> I 
This is the Camille Rose Naturals Aloe with Butter Gel. I'm just going to add my little oil mix. So, it's really, really freaking heavy. <laughs> you can see it's just like totally flattening me out. What I do when I do eco styler is like I would pluck my hair to um, kind of get the extra product off and kind of give it back some volume, otherwise, it's just gonna be <laughs> flat. So, yeah. So, when I'm doing eco styler gel, I rake the gel, rake in, like I apply the gel, rake it in carefully. And then smooth. So, so carefully raking it in because of course it's not gonna have slip like if it's curl maker or something. It's gonna have just regular eco styler slip. Yeah, I do have some good slip from the products that I used before, so at least I have that. Um, yeah. Okay, this is it. Just after the shape. I use, use my style I plop so how to plop <laughs> I'm not an expert plop because I don't do this super often so don't laugh at my plop and then you just kind of wrap it around like this I leave each t-shirt in for half an hour I might swap out and put another t-shirt it doesn't get fully dry but it just gets a little lighter and a little bit drier okay so that was it you saw how flat my hair was it does really do a good job with definition like every curl is defined I would say that just come in so you can see it. <laughs> so this is my eco style result using all the tips that I mentioned and try it out if you have a real problem with crunch. I mean if you have a real real problem with crunch just abandon the eco styler but you know if your eco styler crunch is really bad and you want a way to kind of ease it up a little bit then try all these tips and let me know what you think. And let me know what your favorite eco styler is. And if you live in Maryland, <laughs> let me know where you can find a flaxseed and coconut eco stylist. Because I've been looking for them. Well, I haven't been looking besides Sally's. But, you know, I haven't been seeing them. So, yeah. If you live in the D.C. area, let me know <laughs> where I can find them. <laughs> okay, so that was it. <laughs> I hope you have fun watching. Um, now you know what my hair looks like. I'm there for an eco styler. <laughs> so, see you in the next one. Bye.